To write the Lewis structure for Na2CO3, sodium carbonate, we first need to recognize that Na, that's a metal, and then CO3 is a group of nonmetals. It's a polyatomic ion called the carbonate ion. When we have a metal and nonmetals, that's an ionic compound, and electrons are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So the sodium is going to transfer its valence electrons to the carbonate ion and form an ionic bond. So let's write Na. We have two of them. And then we'll put our carbonate ion right between them. So sodium, that's in group one on the periodic table, so that is one valence electron, which it's lost to the carbonate ion. Since it's lost that negative charge, that electron, it now has a positive charge, this sodium also. Since each of these sodiums lost one electron, this carbonate here, it gained them. Because it gained two negative charges, it has this two minus charge here. We have these positive charges and this negative charge. So the positives and the negatives, they're attracted, and that's what makes the ionic bond. So for an explanation of how I drew this Lewis structure, there's a link in the description for this video. Note that this is what we call a formula unit. When you have Na2CO3, sodium carbonate, it's made up of a group of these formula units in a repeating pattern. It's called a crystal. So this is the Lewis structure for one formula unit of Na2CO3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.